Hello, thank you for your interest in a randomized open label bioequivalent study of lidocaine topical system 1.8% and lidocaine patch 5% in healthy subjects. My name is Dr. Jeff Feudin. I'm PharmD in upstate New York. I have a private telehealth practice with Remitigate Therapeutics and outpatient pain practice affiliated with a local VA hospital and academic affiliations with both Albany College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences and also Western New England College of Pharmacy. The rationale for studies was to evaluate ZT Lido lidocaine patch system 1.8%, a non aqueous topical system containing 36 milligrams of drug compared to lidoderm or lidocaine patch 5%, an aqueous patch containing 700 milligrams of drug. Study one. The design was 56 healthy adults, single-center single randomized comparative PK study. The objective was comparative single-dose or three-patches pharmacokinetics bioequivalents of lidocaine topical system 1.8% versus lidocaine patch 5% as the reference product. And we included a single-dose pharmacokinetic study of lidocaine 0.7 milligram per kilogram bolus intravenous to support the determination of an apparent dose and absolute bioavailability for each patch as a test reference. In study two, the design was 54 healthy adults, single center, randomized comparative PK study. The objectives here were to evaluate bioequivalence between lidocaine topical system 1.8% versus the lidocaine patch 5%, to evaluate or compare the safety following a single dose of three patches of lidocaine topical system 1.8% versus the lidocaine patch 5%, and to evaluate or compare skin irritation of lidocaine topical system 1.8% versus the lidocaine patch 5%. The results with regard to PK and bioequivalence assessment were as follows. Within the article, figure two and figure three, both display the mean lidocaine plasma concentration versus time profiles of lidocaine topical system 1.8% compared to lidocaine patch 5% for study one and study two respectively. Both figures demonstrated similar PK parameters for the topical products, both the 1.8% topical patch and the 5% lidocaine patch comparator. By equivalence, was also demonstrated between lidocaine topical system 1.8% compared to lidocaine patch 5%. With regard to safety assessments, study one showed the overall incidence of adverse events was 3.6% in subjects receiving lidocaine topical system 1.8%. Conversely, in subjects receiving lidocaine patch 5%, the adverse events were almost three times higher at 10.5% and one subject experienced an adverse event that led to study discontinuation. However, it was not related to the study drug. In study two, one subject, or 1.9%, receiving lidocaine topical system 1.8%, experienced acne, and one subject, also 1.9%, receiving lidocaine 5%, experienced syncope. Neither adverse event was judged to be treatment related. There were no serious or severe adverse effects and no adverse effects that led to discontinuation of the study. The mean irritation score per patch was less than one for both products, which is not considered to be clinically significant. So in conclusion, the bioequivalence was demonstrated between lidocaine topical system 1.8% and the lidocaine patch 5%, despite their differences in drug load and strength. Both products have comparable safety and skin tolerability profiles in healthy adults, and adequate adhesion is a critical quality attribute of topical delivery systems. Adhesion scores at 12 hours was statistically significant in favor of lidocaine topical system 1.8% over the lidocaine 5%. Thank you very much and enjoy the article.